What's up everyone, Tom here again from the Fabcon 3D 2016 in Erfurt. And I'm here with Team StarCraft, a Formula Student racing team. So Formula Student is a racing league centered around these compact, completely scratch built uh, racing cars. And they come in gas powered and electric flavors. And these are not just some soapbox cars, these are actual racing cars. For example, this one has 109 horsepower, 1,400 electronically limited newton meters and goes from 0 to 60 in less than 4 seconds. Say what? And this is what happens when the electronics for the motor control have a bit of a hiccup. And I'm very fascinated by these cars because it's not just engineering, it's like running a complete business. So there's management, there's marketing, and everything else you'd expect from a real business. Now these guys are stepping into the waters of using FDM 3D printed parts because they're cheap, they're lightweight, and they allow them to manufacture geometries that would otherwise be impossible to create. Most of these 3D printed parts that are printed on professional machines are used in applications where they are not going to be load bearing. So for example, things like these LED holders or parts for the air duct and this labyrinth seal on the bottom. And for the next car, a surprising amount of parts that are used in the cooling system, which obviously need to be watertight and heat resistant. And for that application, the 3D printed ABS seems to be doing a really good job. And when it comes down to designing for manufacturing for 3D printed parts, they're actually saying it's much easier than designing for traditional milled or turned parts. What they're also showing off here are 3D printed prototypes for their next steering wheel, as unfortunately, they now have to replace their traditional wooden one. I've also pointed them towards newer materials like the carbon fiber infused filaments or actual carbon fiber printed from the MarkForge printer, which I'm gonna go check out next. So overall, great use for 3D printing here at the StarCraft booth. Go check them out in the link in the video description and stay tuned here for more updates on Fabcon 3D.